Hey guys, it's Maxie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an item beauty review. So I bought the item beauty, which is obviously Addison Ray's line. I think I got one of everything except for the brow pencil just because I don't, I just don't need a brow pencil. So yeah, I didn't even open it yet, so. So when you open it, then it has like a little poster of her and it comes wrapped up nicely like this. So, so all these little white things. Okay. And in there, Underneath the little white confetti is everything in the individual packages. So I got the Lash Snack Mascara, the Lip Quip Gloss, I got the Lip Glaze and Coin Toss. I tried to go for like the bronzy color. This is the Powder Hour Blurring. I got the Powder Hour Blurring Stick. Oh, I did end up getting a brow chow. I got one of everything. And then I got Cheek Money. And I think I got the, I got Mood Vibes. So I got like the light medium one. Cause I'm not that tan. So yeah, so I did get one of everything. So since there's no foundation, I'm just gonna do like a natural makeup look today. So I am just gonna use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, just because I have some pores here that I don't like. So I'm just going to put this on. I heard this is really good too. This is... I haven't tried it yet. So... There we go. Okay. Supposed to be a dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I didn't really like that to be honest, but it was also so pricey that like I wanted more for the price. So I just used this, and then I'm gonna try out the Elf Foundation Serum. It has 25 SPF in it. It's supposed to be just like it's literally a serum. It comes out like water, and it's very thin. I just put some on my hand before, and when I bought it to see if I was gonna like it, and I thought it'd be okay. So I figured this would be like perfect for like a natural makeup look. So I'm just gonna use my IT Cosmetics brush. Shake it up because it's blurry. Let's see how water it is. See, it's literally like water. Yeah, it's running. So. I just am putting this on just to have something because I have watched reviews on the Item Beauty line this kind of smells weird um but i have watched reviews and they've said like the powder goes on better if you have something on it and if you have nothing on it doesn't really do anything so i figured what's the point like i'm probably not gonna and to be honest like i'm not gonna put powder on just to put powder on like i'm not gonna just put powder on my face for no reason like i don't have oily skin so this is my face with just the e.l.f. serum and the putty. So next I'm gonna go in with the um, the powder and I'm gonna set my face. So it comes in a box like this. I got the translucent one. I don't really like, like colored powders. I feel like it's really hard to match and especially if you can't like try it before you buy it, then you wanna just get translucent, just easier. Okay, so you push this down and then you pull it up. And then the product is down here. So this could be convenient. Like if you, wait, what? Hold on, I'm confused. Is it supposed to go right up or you're supposed to dip? Okay, 
See? It's starting to come out. So you're supposed to, I guess, just... Next, the powder is coming out. So that's convenient. I feel like I want more powder than what's coming out though, I will say. Oh. Damn, I think I got a lot of my, yeah, I got a lot of my forehead. Okay, if you press, see if you could tell how glowier versus how matte. So it does make you matte. I'm just looking at my up close mirror so I can give a full honest review. So it makes you pretty matte. So if you press in, it'll come out. So let's see, my cheeks throw out my pores that I want. Um, okay. Can you pull this back up? Put it back. So yeah, so this is what it looks like. My face feels set. It doesn't feel dry. I have dry skin. So it doesn't feel super, it doesn't feel drying. Um, let's see. So it looks pretty good. It feels nice. Blot Brighten Blur Powder. Okay, so it's not supposed to make you glowy. Okay. So there's that. That I don't mind. That I like. Um, I'll see how my makeup sits throughout the day. I'm going to film some TikTok, so I'll be sweating outside. So I'll let you guys know after how it held up. Okay. So next, I guess, we'll finish with the face. So we'll do the Cheek Money. Swipe right for a buildable glow and swipe left for a smooth, soft finish contour. Okay, so hopefully this like blush situation will. Packaging is always hard to. Well, oh, packaging. There we go. It's always so hard to open your nails. And so I'm due for a new, for a new ANC. So I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to break them. So it comes like this. Very cute. Very cute. Mirror is. Oh, this little thing fell out. The mirror is awesome. You can see my tripod set up. This mirror is awesome. So, this is the. This is lighter than I thought. Okay. Okay, wait, which? I don't understand. Which one is which? Swipe right for a buildable glow. So this is a buildable glow. It's coming off like kind of chunky. I don't know about that. And then this. It like looks weird. Why does it look like that after doing swatches? Like, that makes no sense. Okay, we're gonna try it. I still don't understand which one's the contour and which one's the highlight. Okay, I think this one's the contour, so this side is the contour. So it's, it's a little powdery, but that's fine. I use a NARS brush. I've been using this forever. It's really good. Okay. I definitely do feel contoured. Okay. I definitely feel more contoured. It is subtle. It is very subtle. Maybe I should have got the darker one, but summer's ending, so I don't want to get it and then be able to use it for a month. I'd rather have to build it up than not be able to use it in the future, okay? See, it just looks weird in the pan. 
Like you see where I rubbed it? It like looks weird. That's my only thing is it, I've never seen a bronzer do that. But okay. Next I'm gonna take my blush brush for this. For a buildable glow. This one has less kick up. Am I glowing? Am I glowing? I mean, it doesn't look bad, but like... Okay, now it's depositing color. Not like... Okay, see how it's depositing way more color on this side? That was weird, okay. I mean, it's definitely not bad. Like it's, it's not bad, but it's not great. Like, I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like eh about this. I can't even open it now. Come on. There we go. It's like, that's freaking me out. Like, why is it doing that? And I don't know, like I can't really. A little glow, okay, a little. All right, that I'm like eh about. The powder I liked better than this. So let's move on to the liquid eye glaze. I like these little packagings. I think they're so cute. Um, yeah, definitely think it's really cute. Hello, there we go. Okay, so. It comes in a little tube like this. It says the name, Lick, Lid Glaze Hydrating Jelly Eyeshadow. Play up your lids with this long wear, bouncy liquid eye color. Hello, Mia. Don't spill my water, please. Swipe pigment onto eyelids or dab onto high points of your face and decolletage for a lit glow. Okay, so you could use this as a highlighted saying? Mia. Mia girl. Please. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, Mia, you're knocking my stuff over. Please go away. So what I'm gonna do is, because they said you could put this in the crease for, they could put this as a crease color. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in my crease and then I'm gonna go in with that. I have nothing on my eyes right now. I do love this mirror though. Mia, don't think about it, girl. Okay, so let's see, I'm gonna swatch this. Okay, so I got like a copper color. I think that's pretty. It's very light. I mean, as I rub over it, it's actually it's actually taking away some of the product. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, oh, I have some of that bronzer in my hand. I am gonna go wipe my hands off, and then I'm gonna put some of it on my hand and go from there. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put some of this on my finger, and I'm gonna dab it on my eyes. So that's what I have. And I'm gonna use this mirror. I love this mirror. I honestly don't mind this contour. It doesn't look bad. It really doesn't look bad. Just at first I was just I was just confused with the way like it was like kind of peeling off and you have to build it. But I also kind of I'm a little tan, so maybe I got it too light of a color. But let's see. I'm just gonna dab. 
Okay. Okay, I like that. So you can see, it definitely has glitter in it. Like it definitely, let me here. It's definitely a little glittery. Let me bring it. The other eye. And I just put this much, just one little swipe. I like this. I really love this. I love this. I love this. This looks great. Like this looks so good. It's so bronzy and shiny and it's glittery, but it's not, I don't look like crazy. You know what I mean? Like it's not like, so much glitter you're gonna look like you're trying to walk down a red carpet it definitely is more of like a subtle thing and it's very easy so let's see how it dries let's see how this one's doing this one's almost dry pretty much dry i love this and the reflex in there like i feel like they're like a there's some of them are greeny i love this i love this so far this is awesome so next i'm gonna let the um Get closer. Move closer. I'm gonna let the lids dry before I do the mascara, but I'm gonna go in with the brow chow. So I got shade medium brown, I believe. Medium brown, yeah. I got medium brown. So we'll see. I mean, my eyebrows aren't too dark. I need to get my eyebrows done so bad i had to cancel my appointment because i had a family emergency and i wasn't going to be in town so unfortunately i had to cancel and i'm not i can't get in until september 25th it is now august 28th so like my girl books out a month in advance like you need to book in advance so all right anyway back to what we're here for so this is what it comes out like it's kind of like the benefit brow definer I personally use, um, I use the Anastasia one, the thin one, the really little one. And this one has more of like a little brush. It's kind of like the Fenty one. So let's see. Okay, so I usually use a thinner one. So using this is going to be different for me. So let's see. Okay, the color is good. The color is, like my brow hairs are a little, um... It's a little warmer, which is fine. So I'll do a swatch. Actually, I should have done the first. It's a little hard, so you have to like rub for it to come off. But that I don't mind because then you'll know like you're really getting it where you want to get it. And I'm not crazy about my brows. Like my brows are pretty thick for me it took me a while to grow them out and once they got to like a certain point like they pretty much are the shape that i want them to be it's just like little touch-ups here and they're like little cleanups i'm there i don't know how i feel about this let's see okay oh, literally having an allergy attack Okay, so I like this so far. This is the moment of truth, how it does the front. Okay, I love this. Love this. It's a little bit hard to get used to how to do the ends with this one because usually I have such like a fine tip that it's so easy to like make the end like nice and thin. So that's the only thing I will say, but that's just because that's the shape of this pen. My leg got stuck.
stuck. That's just because it's the shape of this pencil. So it's not like the product isn't good. It's just being, sorry, I need to readjust. Being able to, you know, get that point. So I'm trying to use like the little tip right there. So we'll see. Oh, good. It's not too bad. Um, I love this color. Medium brown is perfect for someone that has like hair like me, which is a medium brown. Makes sense. So yeah, I love the way my brows turned out. The powder is growing on me. It does feel really nice on the skin. It does feel really nice. I just wish... I just wish that like, okay, so this side is a contour. I wish this side was a blush color that was like a highlight at the same time. Like a, she like a blush with a sheen. I feel like that would go a lot better in this than whatever is in there. Do you hear my dog? So I'll go over all the prices and all of like my final thoughts when I'm done. But. Okay, so this is the lip clip. Let's get my stuff off my hand. The lip clip. Decent amount comes out. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Very pretty. So I'm just gonna line my lips really quick with this NYX front this NYX Sandstorm liner. As you can see, this doesn't give you much color. It's very close to my lips. I just wanted some like definition shape-wise. So let's try this out. Ooh, yes. It feels good. Mm -hmm. This right here is good. It smells like... Not full watermelon, but watermelon and something. But I love it. Feels nice. Juicy. This is what I look like so far. And now I'm going to head to mascara. So everybody always talks about Addison and her lashes and this and that. So let's see if the lash snack lives up to it. Apparently it has like castor oil and stuff in it that's supposed to be really good um, for like lash growth anyway. So I appreciate that. Small but mighty brush lifts and lengthens every single lash with this flake free and smudge proof formula that's packed with nourishing growth boosters. Sounds pretty good. So, that's what it looks like. I love this packaging too. It's very tiny, this brush. It's very little. So let's see what it does. Okay, so this is one coat and nothing. So it definitely looks good. I mean, who just puts one coat of mascara on, to be honest? No one. So let's see how many coats that I'm... Let's see how many coats it takes for me to get what I want. Okay, coat number two. First one coat. I think it's gonna be a three coater, but I like the way it looks so far. It's separating them nicely. It's giving me a lot of length. It's giving me some volume, but not too much volume, but I don't like a lot of volume because I have small eyes. So if I have too much volume, then it kind of like closes in my eyes and I'm always trying to make them look more open and bigger. We see you, Addison. We see you. I mean, if her mascara sucked, I would have been, I would have been disappointed. I really like how much control you have with this brush. I love mascara. Okay. So we've used every product. And now I'm going to go over my final review and final thoughts on the products. And then I'm also... 
gonna come back in later and just do a check-in to see how everything held up because like the mascara looks great but i want to make sure it doesn't transfer all over my face doesn't flake off things like that and the lid stuff i love it i want to make sure it lasts and the same thing with the face i mean to be honest i really wasn't that impressed with these i wasn't like this is probably great for someone who's oily and wants to keep something in their bag to just blot and fix themselves real quick. That's just not me. I have dry skin. Like, the chances of me being out and needing to use this are slim. But I love how convenient and easy it is. So, so that was $22. So for $22 for a powder, it's not, but it feels so nice on the skin. So it feels so nice on the skin. This, the cheek money was 16. This is the one where I'm like, I don't know if I like it. Like, I don't want to say that it, it's bad because it's, it's fine. But am I going to reach for it? Probably not. Would I pick it up again? Probably not. But I have it. Am I going to use it? Maybe. I mean, I have so many good bronzers and blushes and stuff like that that I honestly probably am not going to use this again. Sorry, Addison. Yeah, so this is the one thing I'm like, you could do without. The, the brow chow, I believe, was $14. Let's see. Yeah, this was $14. I think it's great. I think it's great. I loved it. I think it was great. I think this is totally worth it. Um, this I really liked. I really liked this. It was super easy to work with. I had no problems with it. This was also $14. Not bad price point. I think it's totally fair price point. Actually, this was $12. Get this. Get this. This I really liked. And the mascara was 14 and I really liked it. So I would say out of all the products, these three, I mean these four, excuse me, these four would be ones that I want, will use. Like I will pick these up and use them on a daily basis. Like this will be like my go-to stuff. I mean this I probably won't do every day. I wish I got maybe like a, a less bronzy color but if I'm putting something on my eyes I really like this it's nothing too crazy it's totally like bronzy exactly like the color I was going for was this so this I'm impressed with I definitely like it it's it's totally dry now it's like a powder finish it's great these three I feel like are gonna be my like everyday like go-to situations I love this mascara so far and the brow pencil is great and then this just feels so good Mm, it feels so good on the lips. It feels so, so, so like hydrating and nice and it's shiny. And it's still shiny. I mean, I, I put this on like at least 20, 25 minutes ago and I've been drinking water. So these three, I would say are like the standouts i would say if i had to pick one the thing that surprised me the most was the brow pencil i didn't think i was gonna like this i forgot i even bought it because i was like oh i'm not gonna like it why am i even gonna buy it but this this surprised me the most the mascara i had faith that was gonna be good because her eyelashes are so nice why would you put out a bad mascara like that just doesn't make sense to me so that's it for now i am going to be checking in later after just i have like my day and just checking just to see how the makeup lasts so besides that i really appreciate you guys watching and i will see you guys at the end of my day so i'm just checking back in on my addison ray makeup update item beauty and it held up really nicely i was outside doing tiktoks in the sun for like an hour or two i mean obviously the lip needs to be reapplied but that's that's just the way it is, you know, like lip glosses don't stay forever, but stay better. It looks better in the natural light than it does. I guess this is meant for more of like natural light than what I had before, but I think it looks awesome. It looks really good, so definitely would recommend it. Um, so yeah, so far so good. So 
other than that that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it um i hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are if you would please like comment subscribe let me know what you want to see let me know if you tried any of the products and what you thought of them and other than that i'll catch you guys next time bye